Welcome back to Top Repairs. In this topic, I want to show you how to check for a seize engine, and I'm going to tell you what causes an engine to seize. If you're trying to start your vehicle and your vehicle won't crank, and your starter is good, your battery is good, your alternator is good, the battery terminal wire is not corroded, and the engine just won't crank, and all you hear is click, 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 there's a chance your engine might be seized. The quickest way to check if your engine is seized or not is to rotate the crankshaft. So for some vehicle, you have to rotate the crankshaft counterclockwise. And for most vehicle, you rotate the engine clockwise. So let's rotate this engine clockwise. As you can see, this engine is seized because I can't rotate the crankshaft. Now let's investigate why this engine seized. First, start by checking engine oil level. If there is no engine oil inside the engine, this will cause increased friction, and this will cause your engine bearing to wear out rapidly. The next reason why your engine can seize is due to hydro lock. If there's too much liquid inside the uh, combustion chamber, this will cause the engine to hydro lock. This can be caused by a blown head gasket or it can be caused by a stuck open fuel injector. And if water finds its way into the intake caused by maybe you did an engine detailing or you drove through a puddle of water, again, water will enter through the intake or the throttle body and the water will go straight to the combustion chamber, again, causing your engine to hydro lock. To check if your engine is hydrolog, all you have to do is move the spark plug for each cylinder and look inside the spark plug hole for liquids. Another way to tell that you have mechanical damage internally is to check your spark plug. For example, a normal spark plug have a gap like this. And if you take out your spark plugs, and it looks like this, and there is no gap between the electrode and this part, then you know something went wrong to the point where the piston actually collided with the spark plug. The next reason why your engine failed is due to spun bearing. If the uh, bearing came out of place for some reason, this can cause the piston to travel sideways like this, and it can cause the uh, engine to throw a rod. And lastly, if your oil pump fell, engine oil is not going to circulate inside your engine. Therefore, moving components is going to start for engine oil. I hope you found this lesson useful. As I thank you for watching, subscribe to Tafa Repairs.